Good morning, everybody, and thank you once again for tuning into my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you're well and that you are enjoying your week. It's gone very cold here all of a sudden in Malmesbury. I think uh, summer is well and truly gone. Um, winter, actually, is my favorite season, I think. Um, you know, when it gets really proper crisp and cold, not just kind of rain, but bone-shakingly cold or snow. I love that stuff. So it's been a couple of weeks since I got back from Fotokina. That was an amazing trip as always, thanks to those of you that did pop along and come to any of my talks. The screen on the Fujifilm booth was absolutely massive. Um, it was huge, uh, but it was so well put together by the team in Japan. Of course, most of the talk at the show, uh, well, at the Fujifilm booth at least, was about the GFX 50R and the X-T3 also. My prototypes of both those cameras have now gone back to Japan. So I'm filming this actually, this clip, this very clip on my new X-T3, which I bought this week. In fact, in the UK, at least, I couldn't get a body-only version of the X-T3. There was only kit options available, so that's what I had to go for if I wanted the camera in time uh, for any more work coming up. So uh, this means I now have three 18-55mm uh, lenses. Um, I'll keep one, of course. It's a great lens, especially for filming. Um, the other two uh, will have to be sold on. Uh, it's an expensive business, all these new cameras coming around. I haven't even thought about purchasing the GFX 50R yet, though I have sold the 50S in, in readiness for that. Um, I bumped into a few of you in Cologne, and it was lovely to say hello and put a face to some of the regular subscribers and commenters um, on the channel. So yeah, thank you. It was really, really nice. Now, today, uh, what have I got for you today? Well. Firstly, this is a wedding type video, but I hope it will appeal to the wider masses of Fujifilm and perhaps just, you know, photography enthusiasts as a whole. Now, do you remember a couple of years ago, I did a full shoot photo film of a wedding that I shot in France. A link to it above if you missed it, it should just come up there. Um, now, that approach to shooting the wedding was very, very different for me. And coincidentally, I actually produced that clip, that photo film then for the presentation I was given at Photokina two years ago. So uh, fast forward to this summer, uh, September, I think, early September, and I shot a wedding for a guest who was uh, at that wedding in France. She, and she actually asked me to produce something similar, which I did. So it's coming up, the full photo film, so bear with me as I think I need to put down the context of why this type of thing is even a thing, why it even exists. Uh, in essence, it's a photo film, which is a set of stills, set to music. Um, I do that standard for every single wedding client, of course. Now, typically a standard wedding yields around 400 images or so, and the photo films have a really lovely thing. You know, they're, they're, they're beautiful things for them to keep, put on their phones, their tablets, share with friends on Facebook, all of that good stuff. Now, in the case of the French wedding a few years ago, and the one I'm about to show you, I purposefully shot a lot more images than I would at a typical wedding. The French one, for example, was around 4,000 frames. Uh, I would normally shoot around 2,000 frames at a regular wedding, uh, sometimes more, sometimes less, but, but there or thereabouts. Whenever I'm shooting a wedding, I'm always thinking about lights, of course, composition as much as I can, and you know, ultimately the moment, light, composition, moment. They are the three things, and I've said this before, that I believe need to come together to make a strong image, a strong still image at least. So when I'm shooting for these very fast photo films, I have to change my approach somewhat, um, actually change my approach quite substantially. I'm still looking for light, you know, I'm still looking for composition and moment. Now remember, I shoot candidly, so the images that I have to, that, have, that are in, unfolding in front of me, I should say, you know, I don't give any direction to them. They, they happen naturally. It's, uh, you know, I can use my senses to identify when moments are happening or of course shoot them, you know, always with one eye on the light, the background, composition, all of that stuff. Now, the reason I normally shoot around 2,000 images is because for every moment that makes the cut, I probably press the shutter button two or three times, you know, and then they get the best of those frames. For this photo film, it's very, very different. You'll understand uh, when you see it, I think. Um, now, it's worth remembering that the client specifically asked me for this product. I do offer it as a product, but it's a very specific thing. The wedding needs to be right, the client needs to understand what they're going to get. It just wouldn't work for every single wedding. And the time and effort that goes into it after the fact is huge, which means there is, you know, financial implications too. Um, now, no matter, you know, I do enjoy making these things. And whilst I fully appreciate it's not going to be to everybody's taste, the clients have seen the previous one and want this, and she loves it. 
So that's what we have coming up, a full wedding. Every moment that I shot, there are no cuts. This is every single frame that I shot at the wedding. It's unedited, and by that I mean I haven't done a standard wedding edit on these stills. You'll see exposure shifts and occasional out of photo focus image. Um, but of course, the final 400 image gallery will have a proper edit, and that will be on my wedding blog soon, in the next few weeks or so. This is the whole thing. You'll see some group shots even. Um, do watch out, do watch it to the end, I should say. It's around 12 minutes long. Uh, you'll probably want to turn the sound up as well, perhaps. Um, in terms of the practicalities of shooting this, I shot the whole thing on a combination of an X-T3 and an X-Pro2, 123 1.4 lens, the other 56 1.2 lens. I didn't change lenses at all throughout the, throughout the day, so uh, shooting with those two very capable cameras, those two lenses, that was it. Now, after you've watched it, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and, you know, how many frames do you think uh, are in this photo film? You tell me. Um, I tell you what, leave your guess of how many frames are in total in this film. And I'll get a prize to the person that gets it right or comes closest. I, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I've only just thought of this. But maybe a book or a workshop place or a print. Um, and something anyway. Just let me know in the comments how many stills you think are in it. And I'll get some kind of prize to the person that comes closest. All right. So the film is coming up, um, but very quickly, as I always have to do, thank you so much for joining me on the channel and please do remember to subscribe and hit the bell down below. Otherwise you won't get notifications of any future updates to the channel. Um, I'm nearly at 20,000 subscribers now, which I think is absolutely insane. Um, but I do really appreciate every single one of you. Um, I really do. So here we go then. This is Sophie and Daniel's wedding. Hold on tight. Okay now, from the beginning. From the beginning.
Wait! Okay, now, from the beginning. from the beginning. Okay now, from the beginning.
Okay now, from the beginning. <laughs> 